Good morning, Wayne Hills. Welcome to the video morning announcements. I'm Ria Kachru. And I'm Becca Cohen. Today's Friday, January 27th. Happy Friday, Patriots. Ria, do you want to know why today is such a special day? Why is today such a special day, Becca? Because it's your birthday. It is my birthday. Happy birthday, Ria. <laughs> Thank you. Do you want to hear a good joke? I do want to hear a good joke. Ria, what do cars do at the disco? What do they do, Becca? They break dance. <laughs> good one. I don't know who wrote this script, but it's a horrible joke. Anyways, speaking of dancing, Wayne Hills, get your groove on because SDA... Because the SDA season is stronger than ever, SDA captain and officers attended the Hamilton experience. The dancer started with a workshop that was given by Thane Jasperson. He has a, been a principal dancer since the start of Hamilton, and they learned dance moves from the actual show. Later on that evening, they attended the performance of Hamilton. They were able to see Thane and the rest of the cast perform, and this was a great way to see how actual Broadway performers practice and prepare for a show. The SDA captains create every part of their routine, from the music to the choreography, as well as the costume selection and props. A Broadway show does the same, just on a much larger scale, and we can't, cannot wait to see how they will bring all that they learned to this year's show. On Saturday, January 21st, Wayne Hills hosted over 200 students and teachers from all over North and Central Jersey for the NJAAPT Physics Olympics. This competition has been taking place every January in New Jersey for over 20 years, but this was the first time it took place at Hills. Members of the Wayne Hills Engineering Club formed two teams of six. Wayne Hills Team 1 won the Bernoulli Ball event with Colin Graves navigating a course of rings with a ping pong ball, floating in a low pressure air pocket over a blow dryer in the fastest time. Nadir Ghani competed and came in second place for Hills in the laser target shoot event. These two high scores, as well as a good showing in all the other events, led Wayne Hills to a second place overall trophy. Continuing on with our school successes, the 57th season of theater at the Wayne Hills Theater Workshop was a hit. Theater produced The Play That Goes Wrong, a hilarious show about a group of actors trying to put on a play called The Murder at Haversham Manor. As the title suggests, everything that can go wrong does. People forget to make entrances, lines are blown, props go missing, people end up in clocks, characters are knocked unconscious, and their last minute substitutions make all the wrong choices, sending the show into chaos. Their production was a su tremendous success. The kids worked tirelessly for months to bring the complicated script to life, playing multiple characters at once and trying to keep track of the many ins and outs of the show. It was one of the most challenging dramas they have ever produced, but the laughter and applause from the audience verified for them that they had pulled off another success. I can't wait for the spring musical, Pippin. It's going to be amazing. Continuing on with amazing, girls basketball has really been quite the dream team lately. They are currently 14-1 and 6-0 and in their league. They earned the second seed in the Passaic County Tournament. They had their senior night this past Tuesday against West Milford and won the game 44-40. Great job, girls. On another note, boys fencing has been seeing a lot of success as well. They are undefeated with a 6-0 record. They got Sabra 8th place in the Cetrula Memorial Fencing Tournament, which is an event that brings the best teams in New Jersey together. Good job, boys. The girls bowling team, coached by Coach Rayberger, started the season by winning the Big North Independence pre-season tournament on December 7th. The girls then went on a seven-game win streak and are currently 7-3 and three and are second, second in their league. The team finished in third place. Team captain Erica Q City had the highest individual game in the county with a 247 and the highest individual series in the county with a 574. The girls will compete their league matches on February 9th and then head to the state individual and team tournaments on February 18th with hopes of finishing in top three in each. The boys bowling team coached by Coach Bazlicato is having a very good season with a record so far of six and five as well. The team came in fourth at the county meet on January 13th and is battling for a league title. The team is led by Colin Graves, who has the seventh highest average in the county. Colin is averaging 185 this season. State sectionals are coming up and the team has high hopes for that meet. Wow, it's great seeing our fellow students accomplish so much. It really is. That's all we have for you today. Thank you for watching the video morning announcements. Got a suggestion on what should be on the next VMA? DM us on Instagram or Twitter at Wayne Hills TV. I'm Becca Cohen. And I'm Ria Kachru, and you just watched the video morning announcements.